I've just come out here to this barn. I haven't been in here for a week or so. And the light bulb's glowing. It's a an LED bulb. And I thought, uh, oh dear, I've left the light on for a week. So I came to the light switch. And turned it off. It's a two-way switch, so you don't know which way up it should go. The blooming light came on. Huh. Explain that. Now the uh, the supply to these old buildings is uh, protected with a 30 milliamp uh, RCD, uh, so there can't be too much astray. But uh, I'm going to turn the whole lot off at the uh, house and uh, look at it tomorrow. So it's next day and I've stuck a clamp meter on here and it says I'm losing about half an amp. So I'll turn these MCBs off one by one and see uh, what happens. Lamp meter at the bottom end of its scale probably isn't the most accurate thing. So what I've eventually found is I've uh, got that half an amp disappearing down one of the socket circuits, which isn't the problem. Uh, so I need to go and find where that's going. And. Uh, we're losing about 20 milliamps down that way, which presumably is going to that uh, uh, LED, even though the switch is off. So that's odd and it's long here. That was the offending uh, LED. And uh, a bit of water. We had slate blown off the other day and water had got into the switch. That's all it was. So that was a nice easy one. So I'm back in business. The switch is dried out, the LED is working as it should. Uh, the uh, larger fault wasn't a fault at all. Somebody had left something plugged in that shouldn't have been. Uh, so I was losing this uh, 20 milliamps and it turned out it was just leaking through uh, a damp switch, a wet switch in fact. Now if I had had a conventional bulb in here rather than an LED I wouldn't have known it was happening. I don't know, the, uh, the RCD may have tripped and may not. It wouldn't have done at 20 milliamps would it? Yeah. And so I probably had uh, maybe 50 volts leaking past uh, the switch through the dirt and the damp and just causing that LED to glow. And quite interesting really. I'm quite glad it happened. <laughs> so the answer is to rewire the old buildings. And that's not going to happen immediately. But if I put that switch box a little bit higher and leave those uh, downswept bends in the wires, any drips of condensation that run down the wire will drip off them rather than going into the switch, I hope. <laughs> so I uh, hope you found this uh, interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.